boy, this going to be slime on this one. Old nice little natural spring. Well, everybody, we are back at it again, and today I've got a little preview of some of the scouting that we did for one of the new routes with uh, Cabin Fever. This route is going to be heading from uh, the Lodge uh, down kind of southeastish towards Annapolis, and then coming back up through Ellington, and then uh, back up through some of the fun roads up that direction, uh, some of the forest roads back up to Lodge. Uh, it is still, it's probably the most undeveloped that we've had so far, so we're still working on this, trying to get it together, but really most of this route is going to be um, gravel, uh, pavement, uh, a good adventure ride. We do have a couple sections in here that are more of the dual sport, a couple hill climbs. Uh, we've got a power line that we're still testing out, making sure that we can do it. Um, and, and a couple other little things in here. But for the most part, just kind of want to give you an idea of what it's going to look like um, and kind of go from there. Being able to properly read your map, despite all of my effort, I still mess up and end up off trail down some track that I think is legit and isn't. And I end up at somebody's private gate. So, of course, the best thing you can do is get back off that property as soon as possible. And clearly, this will not be on the route. But it was kind of fun nonetheless. Well, yeah, another rear flat. I think this makes number four for the year. Jeez, come on, really, guys? It's whatever. If you've been curious about these uh, motorcycle pumps, we have uh, to show you the slow. They're better than a hand pump. You came in handy. It's a little bit, it's a little bit yucky, wet leaves, so. There's a trail that goes that way, up here, but they've got it right there, which clearly means from this point forward, no access. Yeah, and this this actually is a foot trail. It's a sing, it's a single dot. It's not a double dot. So, all right. Now the Annapolis route is actually a really good adventure route. I think we only have one or two fairly easy water crossings on it um and and honestly i will have water crossings marked so if if you just hate those things you you can always find a work around uh, these are all public roads through here so it's not a big deal but it does have more um fast speed highway in it as well it's one of the longer routes but from what i can tell it's going to turn out to be a pretty nice adventure route Well, I hope these help you get a better idea of what to expect. Um, we really do want this to be a combination of riding for people that want the adventure routes, for people that want some dual sport action on it. And actually this year we're gonna be putting a strictly paved only route. So we're looking forward to putting this on for you and we're looking forward to having you come down here and join us and ride with us as our friend. Thanks again.